Queen Elizabeth II headed to church this morning with several members of the royal family, but Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are still nowhere to be seen in Scotland. The Queen looked radiant this morning when she was spotted in a car taking her to Crithy Kirk, the church she traditionally goes to for Sunday service while in Scotland. Her youngest son, Prince Edward, sat next to the driver, while his wife Sophie Wessex and daughter Lady Louise Windsor sat with the Queen. Prince Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, who arrived to Balmoral for their traditional summer stay in Scotland several days ago, traveled in a separate car in front of the Queen's. The monarch looked relaxed and chose to wear a pale blue coat dress with a matching hat decorated with a large flower, paired with her signature pearl earring and necklace. Young Lady Louise, 15, and Sophie, 54, also wore blue outfits for the occasion. The Wessexes, Prince Charles, and Camilla are just a few members of the royal family who have headed to Balmoral, the Queen's Scottish estate, for the summer break. Last week, Prince Andrew, Sarah Ferguson, and their daughters Princess Eugenie and Princess Beatrice were also visiting the Queen. However, Sarah, also known as Fergie by British royal fans, had to head off after Prince Philip traveled north one week before previously planned, to avoid creating tensions within the castle. According to a royal expert, the Duke of Edinburgh can't stand Fergie. Richard Fitzwilliams told, it is instructive that Sarah Ferguson has left Balmoral so soon, the Duke of Edinburgh, rightly, cannot stand her. The relationship between Fergie and Prince Philip sensibly worsened in 1992, after shocking pictures of her and Texan tycoon John Bryan in St. Tropez emerged. While the Duke of Edinburgh doesn't seem to have forgiven Fergie, the Duchess of York has made a seismic effort to regain the trust of other royals, and partially succeeded, Mr. Fitzwilliams said. He continued, Sarah Ferguson has made a seismic effort to regain some of the royal favor she so catastrophically lost. Meghan and Prince Harry are yet to head to Scotland, despite previous claims the Duchess of Sussex would spend her birthday on August 4 with the Queen at Balmoral. The pair took their three-month-old son Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor to Ibiza instead, celebrating Meghan's birthday at a lavish resort in the popular Spanish island. On Wednesday, the family of three were also spotted arriving in Nice, France, with their private jet for another short break. Prince William and his wife, Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, haven't traveled Scotland as well with their three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. The reason behind the Cambridge's delayed trip to Balmoral may be underlining tensions with the Sussexes, according to royal expert Robert Jobson. Writing in the Daily Mail, the royal author argued Prince William and Kate may have been annoyed by Prince Harry saying he doesn't want more than two children to lessen the human impact on the environment. He wrote, the Duke of Sussex's latest woke outburst, in which he declared that he and Meghan plan to have only two children maximum in a bid to save the planet, may well have worked the Cambridges, who already have three.